how are you? Welcome to my channel. I'm Rajon Brown and I'm so happy to share with you always. This is a special series just for you. Have you considered owning your own home? Yes, I know you do. You know, growing up, you know, everyone's dream, almost everybody's dream is to own their own home. Guess what? I did it and I want to share with you how I did it to help you own your own home. Are you interested? Are you ready for this series? Let's go. So this is something that I would have prayed about and I've prayed about and I've prayed about. And at this juncture, at this time, you know, I'm so grateful. You know, I'm so grateful because God provides. I could not have done it without God. You know, I, I remember there are days in the past, you know, in the years ago, you know, I said, God, this is what I want. 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 And I've prayed to God and Jesus, yeah, you have done it again. And he would have, it have brought me out. You know, he would have blessed me. He would have fulfilled his promise of nothing good he would withhold from his children. And I'm here today only because, you know, God, you know, him, him bring me out. God, good. Let me say God is amazing. God is just so amazing. And because God blesses me so much in achieving my goals thus far in life, you know, I'm going to do this series to encourage you. I'm going to do this series to bless you. I'm going to do this series to let you know that if, if God did it for me, if God did it for, did it for him, him, she, them, he can do it for you too. It's never too late to start. You know, you might be saying, oh, me in my 30s, me in my 40s, me in my 50s. You know, once you have life, there is hope. I, for I know the plans I have for you, I could have owned my own home when I was 24, 25. But God waited until I was 34 before he made it come through for me. So no matter where you are, don't watch other people. You know, I remember the story about um, this man who went into a restaurant to eat and he ordered, he went in and ordered something and, you know, somebody came in after him and ordered something. And while he was there sitting waiting, the person who came after him got his got, got their order before he got his. So he called the waiter and said, hey, you know, I'm there a long time. So why then people are coming after me and get food? And the waiter said what they ordered were some simple stuff, probably like a French fries, you know, like a wings. But what you ordered is something that takes time. So the man waited a little longer. And when what he ordered came out, probably steak, who know, probably lamb chop, probably them expensive food. <laughs> you know, when it came out to him, it was exactly what he wanted. It tasted just like how he wanted. So don't watch people who are eating before you. Because what they probably asked God for might have been something that is simple. But what you are asking God for, it takes time not only to prepare it for you, but to prepare you for it. And I believe God would have prepared me for this. And he would have also prepared me at a time to be able to express clearly how I did it to inspire you. So come now, four or five weeks we're going to do this. I'm going to take you on a journey right until Christmas Day. And... It's a series of Thanksgiving. Today, Thanksgiving Day, and we're gonna kick it off today for five weeks. Owning your own home will be a must because if I do it, they do it, you can do it too. So come with me on the journey. So this will be a five week series on how to own your home, where in five weeks, I will take you through the different steps, the different stages, the different things to think about. So. You'd want to stay with me for that. This week, we're going to look at the first step in the process of owning your own home. So the first step is to identify that you want a house, you know, and be, be, and be deliberate about it. What kind of house do you want? 
what you want is very important so oftentimes we don't get what we want because we are not sure what we want so in your mind you need to say all right i want a one bedroom a two bedroom a three bedroom a four bedroom for me i love i love hosting you know i love hosting so spacing space was something that's very important to me so i thought about what i want i know i want an ideal kitchen the kitchen is what i you know is one of the things that are, are you know, i call my non-negotiable so i need a nice spacious kitchen also i need a nice spacious living room the bedroom must be spacious and also wanted a two bedroom for now i wanted a two bedroom so i was sure about what i want i was confident about what i want so that's where you need to start how many rooms do you want how do you, what is what is the size of the room you want and you know how do you want it to set up where do you want it so those are the things you need to look at in the first step of owning your own home now in your mind you know what you want so let's look at the money now because it's not free you're not going to get it free so you need to be prudent you need to be conscious of where, where your financial position is at in life it makes no sense um, you're trying to get something far above what you can afford i believe in putting your basket where you need can stretch for it because that stretch will help you to grow i believe in that i believe in going above your limit to stretch yourself i believe in that but even though i believe in that you have to be honest with yourself you have to know what is possible and what is not so after identifying in your mind what you want you assess what you can get to get what you want and I'm talking about the financial part now so NHT is one of well Jamaica's leading um, housing solution um, uh, uh, um, let me say yeah they are the leading housing solution or should be the leading housing solution in Jamaica NHT National Housing Trust once you are earning over thirty thousand dollars per month NHT partners with organizations like Jane Bank and other banks where once you're earning over 30,000 you have to go through one of those partners if you're earning under under 30,000 then no you can go straight into NHT so when I was uh, when I when I decided what I want and I want to know how much money I can get you know I reached out to NHT uh, make sure that you know I am up to date with my payments because a lot of you you want NHT to help you but you're not paying you're not up to date with your payment but where I work my NHT contribution is taken directly from my salary so I'm sure of my money being paid monthly one thing with my institution where I work they take care of us never late on a pay yet you know never you know every statutory is paid on time so after you are up to date with NHT. You can go into NHT and they talk to you about what you can get. But on the surface, once you're earning over $30,000, then you go through these financial um, partners and they will help you. If you're under $30,000, then you go straight into NHT. For me, um, because I'm employed and I, I'm making more, more than $30,000 per week. Yes, it's per week. Yeah, once you're making over 30000 per week, then no, I was eligible for $7.5 million. Hmm. Let me tell you, and in the weeks ahead, I will show you and tell you about the prices for the houses in Jamaica. So if you're watching this from overseas, oh, it's not cheap out. <laughs> you know, it, you know, you paid so much money for a little space, but to God be the glory, you know, I would have, I would have, found somewhere that is decent that is nice that is lovely that makes me happy yeah so nht gave me 7.5 million dollars so it is important to know where where what you can get also you need to start saving you know you have to start save i mean unless you have a family member that is rich and you know can give you money start saving because your closing costs and your opening costs, your closing costs and your deposits are two hefty sums 
that you you would need and a lot of people can afford to pay a lot of people can afford to pay the month of payment you know even if your mortgage is like a 180 a 200 200 and little whatever it is um the other person can afford that monthly but to come up with a deposit and also to come up with the closing cost that's where the problem normally lies so it's important that you save that you start saving that you start saving that you start saving when i knew i wanted to own my own home i started an account at jane bank <laughs> i started an account at jane bank it was a u.s account and i remember each time each each time i would get you know some money i would i would deposit it and when i'm depositing the money i would ask the teller to put in the description funding my dream so i remember tellers asking me you know what dream you're funding i don't know what dream. And, I, and i think this i started from about 20 about 2018 there about 2017 there about some somewhere in the teens right because i was resolute in my mind that my dream is to own my own home uh, I'd have been through it, I'd have been through it, I'd have been through it in terms of housing and living. I remember when I just moved to Kingston, I got my work in Kingston and and I rented a place of Ligani, I'll never forget. I rented a place of Ligani and to go into the yard, you'd have to walk through like you know like a like a tenement here so you walk people and I was in corporate and you know me are coming from work and I'm a good nice uniform and you know I'm branded and stuff most times and I would walk past people sitting uh, sitting along the way and I remember one Sunday morning I was in the bathroom in the bathroom where I was there are persons, there is a shower outside of the bathroom. So persons in the yard, you know, could go there and shower. And I, and I recall one morning somebody saying, you know, you no know, cutting work, you know the boy in this. So, and you know what I mean? I say, this can't save, you know, this can't save. So, you know, you know, we take my grand exit that same day. But when I moved to that place, it was a furnished place. So I want to make grab my clothes. I'm just I say, I'm not going back. So all of that in my mind, I know I want to be comfortable. I want to have my own space. And I know that is your dream. And that is why you are here thus far in the video. And I'm going to help you. Because when God blesses you, he blesses you to be a blessing to others. And you know, I thought long and hard about this because um, I'm usually private as to where I stay. So if person you follow me on live and TikTok and all of that, you have never seen me posted in my house. Nobody know where I sleep, nobody know my kitchen look, nobody know. Because I just think um, your space is supposed to be intimate, it's supposed to be private. But you know, I you know I share this one with God and I said, God, you know, I'm gonna do this, you know, with the aim to inspire somebody. I'm not sure if I'm gonna give you a whole story yet, you know, you know. But I want to let you know that if I did it, you can do it too. And we're going to follow this five weeks as to how we can do this. And, you know, drop in the comments, you know, uh, any question you want to ask. Drop in the comments, any commendation, recommendation, anything, any suggestion. Drop it in the comments so we can help each other. This is a community, a village of people who are interested to help each other. And I know, I know, I know we're going to touch somebody. We're going to inspire somebody. Each week. I will, I will take to you somebody to talk about the different stages or the different steps and you're going to be inspired, you're going to be blessed. So grab a pen and paper, grab everything and we're going to do this. So after we have identified all of that and know how much money we have saved up, how much money we need, we need to start looking. Next week, we're going to talk about where to look, how to look. You know, and I'll be taking somebody else to you next week. But for this week, uh, I'm going to I'm going to insert right here a video of someone from NHT just talking about what is possible, talking about you know what you can do. That's the first step. You know, find out what you can get. 
you know, and uh, I hope this will help. Emacs Elite Realty. On today's show, I'll be talking to Dwayne Burbick, the NHT's Assistant General Manager of Corporate Communications and Public Affairs. Hi, Dwayne. It's so good to see you. Hi, Kalilo. It's been a minute. It's been a while. But great to be here. Yeah, I feel like there's always something to talk about with NHT. Well, why not? I mean, housing is a big ticket item now. NHT is a premier housing institution. And so we're constantly making adjustments to products, to policies that, you know, are aligned with where our customers' needs are. And we try as best as possible to help them on their home ownership journey. Yeah, and there have been a lot of changes recently, like in the past year. Definitely. Before before we go into all of that, uh, there are some things that most people don't know about mm -hmm. NHT, like some benefits you can get, some opportunities available that are kind of the hidden gems <laughs> of the NHT. So bust upon the gems now. All right. Hidden gems. Uh, that's a hard one. Hard because we try not to keep anything secret. Mm. We try to put the information out there. But little known things. Let me start with this one. Um, contribution refunds towards deposit. So let me break that one down. Okay. Um, you make if your it, NHT. If it is what it sounds like it is, it sounds good. It sounds good already. It gets better. So you know you make NHT contributions every year and they're eligible for refund in the eighth year. So we hold them for seven years. They're eligible for refund in the eighth year. So this year we're refunding 2016 contributions made in 2016. However, if you're buying a house, the NHT makes those refunds not yet due available ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So if you're buying a house today, we would make 17. You already earned 16. It's due for refund. So we'd make 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, up to five years available to you ahead of time to offset some of the costs associated with the house. Up so to five years of the refund? Five years of contributions not yet due. So oh. we we'll give you them ahead of time and up to five years of those available to you ahead of time to assist with offsetting um, the deposit, goes towards the deposit, um, can assist with the legal fees. You know, it's housing. So if you're buying a house, there's going to be valuation report, surveyor's ID report. If you're doing construction, you know, property tax has to be up to date. But it assists with generally all those housing related expenses, um, whether you're buying or you're doing construction. So that's a good one um, that sure. people should know about contribution refunds towards deposit. Yeah, contribution refunds not yet due even. Exactly. We make them available ahead of time. So that's a big one. Um, what's another one I can pull on real quick? We have as well our grants and subsidies. So grants for our low income earners, we have home grant. So if you're earning between minimum wage and $15,000 weekly, you've contributed to the NHD for seven years. The NHD makes a grant of up to $3.5 million available to you when you're buying or building a house. Really? Yes. Uh, so, so then that's in addition to what you can also borrow. Definitely. And I'm glad you said that because people ask all the time, can I just get the grant? And they're like, no, the grant really is to top up the loan amount. So whatever is your loan allocation, the NHG gives you $3.5 million um, and you don't have to pay back that part of it. As it suggests, it's a grant. Um, we also have disability grants. Um, so up to $300,000 per person um, as a grant that can assist with making the space a little bit more comfortable for the person with a disability. Mm -hmm. So whether you want to put in ramps, put in rails, um, if, you, if, if people who are, are, are using wheelchairs, um, you need your light switches, you know, lowered a little bit, put them within reach. The NHT makes a grant available and you don't have to be the individual with a disability to access the grant. If there's someone in your household who has that disability, the NHT uh, will still make the grant available to you. Of course, it has to go towards the benefit of the person mm -hmm. who has a disability. So you can't take the grant and buy a fridge. Mm. You can't take the disability grant and buy a stove. So do you check, um, like, how do you know? Definitely we do. Um, in addition to getting the necessary um, estimates um, for the work to be done, there's follow-up as well thereafter to ensure that it is actually done. Do you want me to continue? Are you getting up, Sure, no. Give me another one. <laughs> keep them coming. All right, let's keep them coming. Construction. Um, the NHG has a build on own land product. Or that's the name of the product. Essentially, it's for individuals who have land. And instead of 
of um, trying to buy something, you want to capitalize on that. So you do construction. Uh, the NHD waives uh, the first year um, payment, no payment until one year after you access that construction loan. So there's a one year moratorium, um, give you enough time to start the work, get the building going before you start making loan a whole payments. year a whole year that's if you own the land um yes if you own the land you're doing construction once you're accessing that product um i i, I, do, I wouldn't want to restrict it to if you own the land because there's provision in place that if it is the land is not yours but you have legal permission to build on the land mm -hmm. um then of course uh, so basically anybody building anybody doing building right so it's anybody who's accessing that particular product you have a full Full year moratorium a full year before moratorium. you have to start repaying. That's but right. all right, so this brings me to some of the new changes with NHT in the past year because mm -hmm. that moratorium would that only be for the NHT portion though? Um, yes, for the NHT portion. Oh. Um, for now, though, um, and, I, and, I, and let me not preempt where you're going, but for now, though, um, the construction product is is offered in-house by the NHD. We haven't um, started extending it through our, our mortgage partners just yet. Mm. Um, we're still finalizing the arrangements um, to make that facility available through our um, network of mortgage providers. Right, and mm -hmm. so that's the big change in the past year that you have to go through that network of mortgage providers now, right? In some circumstances. So um, we're talking about our external financing mortgage program. Not new in terms of joint finance mortgage to the NHG. The NHG has always had this um, relationship with banks and other mortgage providers where you're able to access your NHD loan benefit through those partners. Save you the time of having to come into the NHD, saving you having to make two loan applications, saving you having to make two loan payments at the end of the month. You just make one payment to the partner and the, the, we on the back end work out who is supposed to get what. Mm -hmm. um, so the change with that- The bank remits to you. The bank remits to us, 